I can't sleep. Actually, I haven't really been able to sleep for a while. Some weird stuff has been happening. A couple nights ago, I was driving and I saw in the middle of the road there was like a cat. But then when I got closer, it wasn't a cat. And it was just sitting there in the middle of the road. So I parked my car and I got out and I walked closer to it. And it was a rabbit. But it was like this fat, big house rabbit. And like the fur was perfect. It didn't look dirty or anything. Nothing like a field rabbit. So it just sat there looking at me. And it had one ear up and one ear down. And it just kind of looked at me and then hopped away. So ever since I saw that rabbit in the road, I've been having these weird dreams about animals. Like, I had a dream about a puppy that these people gave me, like, a pile of puppies to choose from. And I got to take them a puppy. And then I think I had a dream about these sheep that were twins. And, and then there was a squirrel the other day that was just staring me down in the window of my kitchen while I was having cereal. It was so weird. So what do you do with stuff like that? Do you ignore it? They say you shouldn't ignore animal behavior. Weird stuff with animals happening. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe I'm just really crazy though. But maybe it's trying to tell me something. A lot of people believe in that stuff. So why shouldn't I? I got a dream book. The Dictionary of Dreams. symbol of fertility and new life. Great. That's not what I was wanting. What? What else? What about puppies? We were children all the while. That was stupid. So that still didn't really answer any of my questions was to why I can't sleep at night and why these animals are being really strange towards me. Well, maybe it is this unnatural force or maybe I am just being paranoid. Either way, if something goes down, you know at least I gave you a warning. <laughs>